how I lost my bag with a diamond bracelet inside and how I found it back. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In case you're new, I'm Iris and I make videos about fashion beauty, but mainly designer handbags. So if you love any of these topics, please consider subscribing and let's get to it. On today's video, we have a quick review on the Louis Vuitton Canis Monogram bag and a little horror story on how I lost my bag and found it after a 30, 40 minute period of losing it. So if you're interested, go grab a snack and a drink and let's get to it. So before I start with my horror story, I'm going to do a quick overview on this beautiful bag and I'm going to start with the measurements and the length is 5.9 by 6.7 high by 5.9 width. And this is the reverse monogram canvas. We have the calf leather trimming in the handle and over here. And also we have the microfiber lining and let me, oh, it's already open. We have the microfiber lining inside and we have the gold beautiful hardware. And we have a very rigid structure. This is a very structured bag. Also we have the secure zip closure let's close it and it's a little bit complicated and we can put the lock right right here we can lock the bag as you can see and we have a strap that is adjustable and removable it has a single handle and the strap drop it's 18.9 inches 20 at its max and this bag, it's either made in France, Spain, Italy, or in the US. Mine is made in France. And I've always been in love with this bag, regardless of not seeing it in the actual store. This bag had been on my wish list for around three years before my husband got it for me. Now, this is a very beautiful, elegant, iconic handbag there's no question about it but this is not a very versatile comfortable bag i don't recommend this handbag as an everyday bag at all and i learned that the hard way because this past weekend i went to the mall to take my little twins shopping for some fall clothes and I decided to take this handbag with me just because I was feeling a little iconic, a little extra, you know, <laughs> but my big mistake, you guys, because when you're going shopping, you need something versatile, something practical, comfortable. And okay, I'm about to tell you the horror story that almost made me throw up. Have you ever lost your handbag with all your belongings inside? Then you know the feeling. Well, not only did I have my important belongings on my handbag, such as credit cards, driver license, I also had a diamond bracelet I had just taken out of repair. So all I can say is that this has been one of the scariest experiences I've had pretty much lately. So pretty much what happened is that we went to the mall because we were looking for fall clothes. My little twins want to build a fall wardrobe. So we went to H&M because we really like that store. They have a lot of fashionable pieces. So we go there and we're browsing and I had this bag with me wearing it as a crossbody. Well, to my surprise, after a little while, the handbag felt a little heavy, a little bulky. So I'm trying some things. 
I mean, I wasn't in the fitting room. I was just like, when you see a shirt and you want to try it over, but the bag was on the way. So I decided to go ahead and hang the bag where the clothes is. Next thing I know, I leave the bag. Stupidest thing I've ever done in my life, I think. Well, no, <laughs> I've done worse than that. But I forgot my handbag there and I didn't even notice you guys. I still went to the kit department. We went to the fitting rooms and all of a sudden I go like, I need my phone to check if there's any, you know, any deals going on on the app. And when I try to grab my phone, I don't have my handbag with me and I just freak out. At that moment, you guys, I just feel like my sugar levels just drop and I feel like I'm going to faint. So considering I noticed this after 30, 40 minutes after I left the bag, by this time, I start going crazy, telling my husband, my bag, my bag, my bag. So he starts running like crazy. I start running like crazy in the opposite direction. I go like, go to the feeding rooms, go here, go there, go where we were. So we go everywhere and the bag is no longer anywhere, like anywhere, you guys. By that time, I didn't even remember I had the bracelet inside of the handbag. And all of a sudden, it hits me. I had my diamond bracelet on my bag. And I tell my husband, and he just turns pale. And we're like asking all the employees, have you seen this bag? It looks like a little vanity, this and that. And they're like, no, no, we don't have it. We haven't seen it. And I'm there like, done, I'm done. It's somebody took it, you know, who wouldn't? Like, it's a Louis Vuitton, you see it there. And, you know, no, not I'm everyone's honest these days. So I was, somebody saw it and took it. And now my beautiful cans bag is gone. I just got it. And not only that, my diamond bracelet is gone as well. So at this point, I don't know what I'm more sad about, about the handbag or the bracelet or both. I just want to throw up. I thought to myself, what a horrible loss. I came shopping and I lost my handbag and I lost my bracelet. And I just felt defeated, you guys. And I know there are more important things in life to lose than materials, but it still hurts you guys. It still hurts to lose something of this size. You know, your jewelry, your handbag, you know, these cost big bucks, you know? So I just felt defeated. Our faces look like a plain ghost when all of a sudden, the manager comes over and she asks what's happening. And we tell her when all of a sudden she goes like, oh, yeah, someone turned a bag. And I just feel like I come back to life. I can just feel the air on my face coming back and, and the blood pumping back. <laughs> I know that's a little dramatic, you guys, but... I'm serious. Like, it just felt so, so bad at the moment. And she goes like, I'm, I'm going to go get the bag and bring it to you guys. And at that moment, I just realized there are still good people out there. Good, honest people, you guys. The world still has good, honest people. Yay. So, yes. She came back with the handbag. She gave it to me and yes, came back to life. And one thing is for sure, I'm never ever taking this handbag out when I'm going to go shopping because she's not the most comfortable, versatile. So yes, she's not going 
shopping, grocery shopping, or anything related to shopping. Now, if I'm just going to go walk to the mall, buy some ice cream or, you know, something like that, I will take her. But learn my lesson never, ever again. I do thank God and my guardian angel for helping me recover my handbag. And this was a very hard lesson for me, you all. This is something I don't recommend you do in store. So yes, always go shopping with your most comfortable handbag. And let me show you the bracelet real quick since I already talked about it so much. And here it is. Here's a beautiful bangle in white gold with diamonds. And let me show you this beauty, you guys, because I had it out for repair. And this is in white gold. 18 karat and look at the details in the bag how stunning and it has around four four and a half carats of diamonds in the princess cut and these are all natural diamonds and the reason i had taken this one to repair is because the little lock right here wasn't working properly so i was really afraid to lose this one and look what happened so i decided to take it and i picked it up and i'm thinking about giving my love cartier a little break you know because ever since i got it i don't wear my other bracelets and you guys life is short wear your diamonds so yes with that being said look at this ice ice baby boom, 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 boom. <laughs> anyways with that being said you guys thank you so much for watching this video if you got all the way to the end and don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up also you guys don't forget to turn your notifications on because a lot of you are not getting notified when I upload and that way you don't miss any of my videos. So thank you very much and see you on the next one. Bye.